I call <coughs> the honourable member Mark Mitchell. Thank you, Mr Chair. Just take uh, this opportunity to respond to some of the issues that have been raised by uh, the opposition. Um, just want to come back to Mr Tirakatne's um, speech and uh, state very clearly, and I share my uh, colleague Mike Saban's concern that um, you know, I think Kiwis are all a bit over having race introduced into these types of arguments. Um, this is a bill that relates to Asian triads, it relates to uh, the mongrel mob, it relates to the Hells Angels. Um, if your friends want to wear leather jackets, um, I enjoy some, I'm sure all of us in this house sometimes enjoy to go biking like uh, Mr Saban was saying, or wear the leather jackets. If they want to wear leather jackets, there's nothing wrong with that, Mr Tirakatne, they can do that. But if they choose to put a mongrel mob patch or a black power patch on it, they're going to have to remove it and take it off when they go into a school or a government building. It's as simple as that. Um, how people qualify, how people get membership uh, to this club. If it's members, associates or supporters, individually or collectively, promote, encourage or engage in criminal activity, then they will find that they have their gang patches registered on the schedule. That is how you um, uh, get membership. Uh, in terms of uh, police leadership and whether or not this bill is actually going to make a real effect and give the, teeth, uh, give the police another effective tool to use in their fight against organised crime and gangs, the clear answer to that is yes. Uh, the great thing to see about our police service at the moment is it's got very strong leadership in, in the commission of Peter Marshall and his two deputies, Mike Bush and Viv Rickards, and actually sadly for, for a long time, uh, in my own personal opin opinion, I feel like uh, our police service lacked um, some strong leadership. Thankfully now they have it. Uh, the feedback from the Police Association and the police is that this is a very good bill and it's going to provide them with a very effective tool to be able to take action and apply pressure and put pressure on our gangs, the gangs in New Zealand. So um, it's, not, it's actually not a waste of time. A bit disappointed to hear Mr Cunliffe say that. In fact, the, La the Labor Party at the moment really seem to be, uh, most of New Zealand really don't know what they stand for, and this is actually a great opportunity for them to, to put a stake in the ground and say, you know what, we are going to be strong on law and order and we are going to support this bill. Uh, wishful thinking, I don't think we're going to see that happen. Um, he, he said that 35,000, Mr Saban stood up and wasted $35,000 of taxpayers' money. Actually, he has every right to get up and speak in this House. That's why he um, was elected as the, as the representative of Northland in 2011. Uh, he, has a, he has a big history, actually, in having to deal with and seeing the, um, the carnage and the victims associated with, uh, with gangs. He was recognised by uh, the Sir Peter Blake Trust for, for actually providing leadership in this area. So he knows what he's talking about. Um, uh, finally, uh, and, and my point there, Mr Speaker, is this. As we talk about, Mr Cunliffe talks about $35,000. You know what, that pales in comparison in terms of what gang and gangs and gang activity and criminal, and criminal um, uh, organised crime and organised crime sponsored by gangs costs the taxpayer and costs this country every year. So I want everyone to sort of maybe think and, 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 and reflect on that as well. He's right, this is not the panacea, and I've said myself this is not the panacea. But this is one very important part of giving our police a tool to be able to take action against gangs. Are the nurses in the uh, A&E going to want to be too bothered about having to ask gang members to remove their gang patches? Um, I, was, I visited North Shore Hospital recently. I can assure you that the nursing staff there and the sisters and the doctors, they're certainly no shrinking violets. They're more than happy. They'll do whatever they have to do to provide a good environment for the patients and the people under their care. But the beauty about this bill is that they don't have to do that. They don't have to tell a gang member to remove the patch. This bill allows for the police to come in and do that and remove any tension that may be created between nursing staff or medical staff and a gang patch member bringing a child in for treatment. So, and and that really is in response to, um, to the issue that Ms uh, Ardern raised. So I hope that that has clarified some of the points that have been raised by the opposition. Thank you. I call the honourable member... Darian Fenton. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. It's a pleasure to take a call.